Welcome back to the channel. What I have recently discovered is that when the torch holder is rotated to align the torch jet to vertical, that it opens up a gap between the torch holder and the THC side guard. Let's take a look at this gap. As you can see, there is a gap there that we want to close up. Here is a picture of what results over time if you do not take steps to shield the THC. The solution was to widen the torch holder and put some angled flares on the lower end of the holder. Here is what the new holder looks like. I have links to the DXF and FSD files for the new torch holder in the description below. The original vid that covered the alignment of the torch holder was just too complicated. If a procedure is not simple and easy, people will just not use it. You must understand that alignment of the plasma jet is not just a one-time event. You will constantly have to realign when the plasma jet acts as drifts due to consumable wear and when you install new consumables. If you are just making signs, then you probably really don't care all that much about bevels. And you can just stop watching at this point. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, so you are a fabricator where precision is a factor. Bevel results, bevels result from two problems. Number one, misalignment of the plasma jet, and number two, improper cut height. Let's first address the procedure for aligning the plasma jet. You want to cut a two inch diameter round specimen from either a one quarter inch or three eighths inch piece of mild steel. The thicker, the better. Make note of where your entry point is for proper orientation later. Now clean up the round and find the point on the round that has the highest positive bezel bevel and mark that point with a marker. This is what it will look like. You want to rotate the point where the greatest bevel occurs in the shortest direction to line with the X axis. You can either measure the angle or just eyeball it. You then must rotate your plasma torch about the Z axis in the same amount and direction. We now must determine how much and in what direction you need to rotate the torch mount about the y-axis. You need to measure the bevel where the greatest bevel occurred and directly opposite on the other side of the round coupon. You will have two angles. Let's look at an example. So angle A is six degrees, angle B is one degree. And so the average between them is going to be 2.5 degrees. This is the amount you have to rotate the holder about the y-axis to align the torch. That's it. However, these adjustments will probably still leave you with some uniform bevel all around the specimen. This remaining bevel may be due to a non-optimum torch height. Hypertherm covers this problem and how to deal with it in the following chart. Hypertherm solution can be implemented by one of two methods if you're using Langmuir's torch height control. In Fusion 360, you can set your cut height in the tool library, which automatically gets set in the NC file. After a pierce finishes, THC will lower the torch to the selected cut height and then record that voltage if you're in smart mode. It will raise or lower the torch as required to maintain that voltage. If you still have a bevel 
then you can raise or lower your torch height in the tool library as appropriate until you get your desired result. There is also another approach you can take. You can operate the THC in manual mode by entering the THC voltage in the THC settings menu. Let's take a look at that menu. In order to enter manual mode, you must enter the THC settings menu. So let's go in and take a look at that menu. Entering a zero value in the nominal field puts THC in the smart mode. So you must enter the desired cut voltage in the nominal block. And you can get these voltages right off the hypertherm uh, tables. Save and then exit. You may want to use manual mode if the live voltage experienced in smart mode differs from the hypertherm table value and it yields a better cut. The downside of this approach is that you have to manually make these changes in the THC settings menu for each part you cut. I hope this all helps. Thanks for watching.